Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video out. Um, computer's been jacked up, haven't had enough uh, desire to fix that, so I'm not doing any editing. I do have a good bit of footage that I'd uh, saved up from previous jobs, but I doubt they'll ever make it onto YouTube. So I'm coming at you with a James Green style, unedited, live, not live, but uncut. What you see is what you get. Um, so a little update here on the milling machine I picked up recently. Some of you may have seen it on Facebook and uh, maybe Instagram. I've got a 1963 Italian mill. It's a horizontal mill. It's about 5,000 pounds. It's a Model 3P and I picked it up maybe a month ago with the plans of uh, just kind of slowly going through it, not for restoration, but just clean it up, get used to it, uh, change the fluids and whatnot. So gonna spin this phone around and uh, point it where it needs to be pointed and talk about what's going on with the mill. Let's see if I can turn this thing. Oh, I have to do it like this. I can't change my uh, viewfinder to go the other way. So hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at. So there it is. Hercules. 1963 horizontal universal horizontal it's a 50 taper machine so I can uh, run a big boy or a big ish boy like this shell mill here it came with uh, 10 good inserts and uh, it should be able to do um, do some cutting here's all the arbors that came with it as well and here's uh, the fluid that keeps me hydrated while I work on it yeah, I'm too lazy to throw it in the trash can. So I've basically done uh, uh, maybe a 90%, 85% cleaning on this thing. Um, can't really tell by the chips down here. What uh, happened with those is um, up here on the top of the ram there is these slots and it was just full of aluminum chips and I blasted them out and of course I did it uh, up there after I cleaned the majority of the machine and everything fell down um, and uh, so move on to uh, where I'm at with it um, this is a cover that I've uh, or rather this is the um, the cavity I guess for the gears for the spin, um, change in speeds and uh, whatnot I I um, was trying to figure out how to drain the thing and uh, ended up pulling this cover off getting fluid out of there I wanted to see how the spindle bearings were lubricated uh, so I could make a choice on what type of fluid to use etc etc um, these copper tubes come from uh, from the pump here I know the lights pour here and it shoots on to the uh, front and rear spindle bearings some of the gears in the bottom have an oil bath and the ones on the top are lubricated with this copper tube so I'm going to get some spindle oil and run it in there I can't find exactly what I need to use because the manual is all in Italian and I don't think I uh, read Italian I've done some Google translation and got close on a lot of things um, so now I'm I'm good to go with just picking up uh, the the fluids that I need um, the knee has been completely drained that guy's completely drained. The table still got some uh, whey oil in there. Um, the machine's got a one-shot lube system on it. Um, and I don't know that it works, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. When I picked up the machine, it, uh, it was under power, and I did get to see it, uh, did get to see it run. The spindle sounded great. Inside of this cavity looks really good um, the where I'm, where I'm at right now is kind of shopping around here and there that's nice here and there for these uh, sight glass windows are plastic and old and nasty and I'm trying to um, find some sight glass windows online that will thread directly into this machine um, they look to be uh, uh, an imperial size but I haven't confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and cut a um, 
cut a, a bung or cut a piece and try to fit it. Um, if I can't find out, if I can't find what I need online, I'll make some bushings and then buy some sight glasses online and go ahead and uh, just uh, screw those in so I can check things like flow and, you know, simple, simple oil level. We got one here, got one here, got one here to make, got one over here to make. Yeah, this machine came with a vertical head. I think this weighs more than my old uh, bridge port over there. So that's nice. It had uh, the parking attachment already on it. Um, didn't come with much tooling. I have one, I think it's a 5 8 end mill holder for the vertical head. Here's the uh, Here's uh, the adapter to go into the spindle to drive the gears for the vertical head. It didn't come with much tooling. Like I said, uh, these are the, the bushings for the arbor. arbor. Um, and that's sitting over here uh, on the bench somewhere. There's the south bend over there. And uh, missing, a, missing a hand crank for the knee, but that's, I can get by for now because, you know, it's all power feeds. Again, they do work. Uh, the dirtiest part of this machine was, uh, as with probably with most uh, machines that have been around for a while, just super dirty from, from here down. The previous owner had uh, done a little bit of cleanup and rattle can paint job on this side. That's why it looks decent over there and dirtier over here. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into painting any of this stuff. Um, I'm not sure how far I'll go with regard to cleaning out the coolant sump. There's just nasty junk in there. I'm probably going to go with the standalone system. I'm not sure. Uh, the machine is a, uh, this is a, the knee's got a two and a half horsepower motor and the spindle is a seven and a half horsepower motor. And right now I've only got a 10 horse, uh, phase converter, so I can't, you know, I can make this thing run, but it's not going to do uh, full power. So I'm looking to uh, get into um, a 15 horse phase converter. I don't know if I'm going to find my own motor and buy a panel or just buy a complete system. I'm not sure. So I got uh, James Green recommended this uh, hydraulic oil from O'Reilly. Just picked up a pump today and going to fill up the knee with that. And uh, like I said earlier, we're going to buy some other fluids and um, get this thing up and going after it's after I finish cleaning it and putting the fluids in, getting the sight glasses handled. Then I'll put power into it. Um, I'm not in a rush to get it uh, fired up. Um, just kind of a little uh, here and there project. Been working 17 hours a week overtime at work and not really out here in the in the garage that much to uh, have fun with the machines. Poor things are collecting dust. Um, that's basically it for this little update. Um, probably do a little video here and there about uh, putting this thing back together, the, the Humpty Dumpty, the 5,000 pound Humpty Dumpty and uh, definitely we'll show you guys when I get power to it and when the thing's up and running and I'll probably do a video of making the the adapters for my sight glasses unless I can find sight glasses that screw directly into the machine. Uh, one more thing about that, um, being that it is Italian you figure it'd be all metric, but it reads in uh, Imperial, uh, good for me, and uh, the threads on the thing are uh, Imperial uh, is as well So it appears to be well, that's it for now. Um, thanks for stopping in. I'll catch you guys later Happy New Year